I'm Rogers Hall. I'm a professor in uh, teaching and learning, and uh, my areas of specialization are in learning sciences and math and science education, primarily. So my research has always been about sort of math in the wild, how people use mathematics to understand and model things that are either way too large for them to experience with their bodies or way, way too small. What interests me in mathematics is both philosophical aspects of mathematics, but also how mathematics allows people to draw the world into the scale of their own bodies. Uh, I run what's called the Space Learning and Mobility Lab here with a couple of other faculty members. Uh, we study how uh, mathematics or other kinds of information science concepts are used by professionals in actual work. We sought funding from the National Science Foundation to do a project that we have been calling Bridging Learning in Urban Extended Spaces. We took our seats in a very orderly, peaceful fashion. Basic idea of this project is to take music, photographs, oral histories, news clippings. The students sat in as planned. The police did nothing to protect them. And to create ways to map those archival media onto the city neighborhoods that they describe. It looks like the next stop is Davidson County Criminal Court and Jail. And we're taking the generation of that data as an opportunity to uh, teach middle and high school age youth about information systems and make it available exactly in the places that those media are describing. We want students not only to know those things, but we'd like for them to understand them by being in those places and engaging in telling those stories. So in this project, in one way, sometimes the way we think about it is that the public history that youth create as they build digital spatial storylines turns out to be the curriculum. It arrives at the end. So they make the curriculum and then they can share it with others.